What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're going to be checking out some awesome battles submitted to the channel by a member of the community, aka Weed, so shout out to them, thank you for sharing this with us, and as you can see over there, they have a Dragon Tail Milotic, shiny at that, with Magnazone and S Cavalier, this team looks really spicy and a lot of fun, so let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles, if you guys haven't picked up the Boom merch yet, be sure to do so before the end of June, there's links down in the description to that so let's go ahead and get right into the video all right getting into this first battle here we have magnazone on the lead versus sir fetch this is a terrible matchup and we are going to see them swap out and they do decide to go into s cavalier right here now the sir fetch is deciding to stay in which means this might be a brave bird right here oh my goodness all right is this battler gonna shield he's gonna risk it and not shield and it's just gonna be a leaf blade oh Oh, he just dodged the bullet right there. I thought for sure that was going to be a Brave Bird coming in and we were going to be booming in the first minute of this video. Now, they do decide to shield the, sh um, the sh uh, drill run right there, not the shield run, the drill run. And they are able to get to another one in time, which is beautiful right here. This means they will either take out or get the second shield, and they do get the second shield, which is a beautiful setup right here. Able to come in with Magnazone now and farm down. Now, they just showed they have Leaf Blade, which means they probably have Leaf Blade, Brave Bird, and this is going to be a Leaf Blade, which is resisted, which means Magnazone's going to be able to farm down with Spark, has loaded energy, two shields, and there's still a Milotic in the back. Now, we do see a Galarian Stunfist come in, and Milotic does swap in, and there here comes a V. <laughs> All right. You guys see what's about to happen, right? There's zero shields. This Milotic is about to get to a blizzard. My goodness, we are booming. Here it comes. You guys love to see it. They're going to go ahead and go for the blizzard right here. This comes without any doubt that this is going to one-shot. Here it comes. Boom! One-shots the Venusaur, and now it's Milotic versus Galarian Stunfisk with one shield. Charge Moon now coming through. I think this was a bit quick for Earthquake, which means it just could be Rock Slide, but they're going to go ahead and shield the Rock Slide. We'll have to see how much damage Surf does right here. It does do super effective damage, but how much is it going to do to an XL Galarian Stunfisk? Quite a bit at that. Now, will we see a Sack Swap into Magnazone? No, the Galarian and Stunfist is going to go ahead and go for another Rock Slide. Can the Milotic hold on? It is going to be the Rock Slide, and it can hold on, which means it's going to be able to get to another Surf in time, and with these Dragon Tails, which are resisted, chunking away the health, this Surf is going to take out the Galarian Stunfisk, and that's a good game. Milotic absolutely smashing that game right there. All right, let's go ahead and move into this next one. Man, I need to get a Milotic up. All right, so we got Magnazone on the lead versus Dragonite. Somewhat favorable matchup right here is going to have to rely on them basically landing wild charges because as you can see, even with that steel typing, Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw are really going to start adding up. So this Magnazone has to be careful. They're going to go ahead and load up on energy, go for a mirror shot right here. This is going to do neutral damage. And what we're looking to get is a shield from the opponent. Do they shield? Yes, they do. That's beautiful. That means they can go safely go for a wild charge right here just before they get to a Dragon Claw. No, they're going to have to shield this or are they going to let it go they can survive if they let it go but they are going to decide to shield they want to get that double wild charge right here to take it out so they do get to two wild charges this first one will be getting the shield from dragonite or one shotting so basically we're going to see dragonite go down right here they do get the shield here comes the second one this is going to take out the dragonite because it will be doing neutral damage dragon resists electric flying takes super effective and there goes the dragonite so able to win that lead matchup able to maintain one shield and we do see a swampert in the back which means my Lodic could come into this yeah going to be resisting hydro cannons right here dragon tail absolutely shreds and there's a septile in the back so this sk Cavalier is now set up to take out the uh, Sceptile um, with that Mega Horn for super effective damage. Leaf Blade doesn't do anything to an S Cavalier right here, so they're going to be able to get that Mega Horn off. One shot the Sceptile. There's going to be a lot of booms in this video, I'm feeling. We got a Blizzard. We got a Mega Horn right here. Boom! Takes out the Sceptile. And that is going to be a good game. My Loda can easily close this game out. No need to shield right here. Yeah, they're not going to shield on the S Cavalier. Their win condition is with the Milotic right here. So they will be able to get to a drill run in time, which is still going to do quite a bit of neutral damage here to the Swampert. And they can easily swap into Milotic. Now the switch clock's not up just yet, but Swampert will be throwing the Hydro Cannon right here. And then Milotic can close this game out, and that is going to be a good battle. So we saw Milotic there in game one land a Blizzard and take out Galarian Stunfisk. 
in game two here, um, just handling this Swampert here at the end and not even shielding. No need to use it, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. All right, moving into this next battle, we have Magnezone on the lead versus Glade. Okay, so kind of a tough matchup right here. Obviously, both Pokemon have to be concerned with the charge move, right? Close combat and wild charge. So the Magnezone is going to go ahead and load up and look to go... Oh, no, they swapped into Charizard. Okay, what just happened? The screen froze. All right, we're back. Wild Charge one-shots, everyone. I don't know why they swapped into Charizard. Boom! One-shots the Charizard. And they surrendered. All right, quick. We got three booms already in this video. Let's go ahead and move in this next battle. We got Magazone on the lead versus Empoleon. Pretty good matchup right here considering how much damage Wild Charge will be doing. And we do see a swap into Kingdra, which is a big tell that this is Empoleon double dragon. So having my Lodic in the back is going to be very nice with Dragon Tail. They're going to go ahead and go for Wild Charge right here. This is going to do neutral. Again, Dragon Water typing right here. Gets the shield as well. And they tried to swap into my Lodic to catch the charge move. But they will be shielding the Magnezone as it's going to do very well against the whole team considering it's empoleon double dragon potentially now my lodic is going to come in and absolutely shred right here with dragon tail as you guys can see it's going to have to load up on energy they have to watch out for the potential outrage but my lodic might be able to survive it right here it is going to be the outrage my lodic able to barely hold on can it fast move down oh yeah i can my lodic able to cleanly tank an outrage and dragon breast fast move down and we will see a single surf the empoleon did get a waterfall through which i think will be enough to take out the mylotic so they won't be able to get to two charge moves yeah it goes down with another charge move but magnezone can come in and throw the wild charge right away this is going to be one shotting the empoleon or getting that final shield right here it does get the final shield and their switch clock is not back up that is unfortunate can they get to another one in time no they cannot are they gonna shield are they gonna let this go they're gonna opt to shield right here and then they swap into the uh, S Cavalier versus the Shadow Dragonite right now. Megahorn is going to be resisted, but my goodness, it is going to still hurt. So we'll have to see how this plays out. Here comes that Megahorn for a lot of resisted damage right there. Dragonite cannot farm down. It's going to have to throw its energy. And if this is not a Hurricane and this is just Dragonclaw, it will not be enough. It is going to be the Hurricane. Takes out the S Cavalier. Magnezone can come in and farm down with Spark. Has a Wild Charge ready to go with 1 HP in a dream. This is going to be one-shotting the Empoleon. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Boom. Takes out the Empoleon. Close one right there. Very good battle. All right. Moving into this next battle. I believe this might be the final one. I only got one set here today. Shadow Machamp on the lead. That's not good. That is not good. They're going to have to swap right away, and they do go straight into this S Cavalier, which is taking neutral damage there. And Charge Move now coming through. Whatever it is, Rock Slide or Cross Chop is going to be doing neutral, so they're going to go ahead and shield. They do block the Cross Chop right there, and we do see a Venusaur come in, which is a very interesting choice, considering how well S Cavalier can do against Venusaur. Doing so much neutral damage right there with Megahorn. You got to wonder what could be in the back. Maybe something way weird weaker to S Cavalier than a Venusaur already is. Sludge Bomb, not going to do any damage right here, and S Cavalier can really take control of this matchup. Going to be going for Drill Run right now, which does neutral damage as well because of that Grass Poison typing. We do see a shield there on Venusaur, but S Cavalier can easily farm down now. We'll have to see what they decide to do. They may let this go and come in and farm up with Magnezone, which I think would be a pretty good call. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and let it go. They're going to come in with Magnezone, load up on energy because Venusaur um, is only going to be doing resisted damage to Magnezone as well. But if it can get a wild charge, it can one-shot Shadow Machamp um, with that energy. So they don't have a wild charge just yet. Shadow Machamp is going to come in, but they're going to go ahead and go for the mirror shot right there. The opponent may not have been counting the fast moves, which means we may, may see a shield right here, which we do. My Lodic is going to be swapped in. What is going to be in the back? The Shadow Machamp is not swapping out. This is looking pretty good. My Lodic may want a shield right here. Cross Chop is really going to hurt. They're going to go ahead and shield the rock side right there, which is, again, a good call. And it's going to be an Empoleon in the back. We'll have to see how well my Lodic can do. Empoleon's only hope is to be able to land Drill Pecs right here for neutral damage against my Lodic. But Magnezone as well still has loaded energy. He could easily farm down and one-shot Machamp. So every single battle, we are having booms. Surf right here doing some nice neutral damage. Empoleon's going to have to throw these Drill Pecs right here. 
and it really can't over farm too much because I don't think drill packs is even going to be enough. They go for the hydro cane and that's resisted. No, don't do that. They're going to go ahead and swap into Magazone. Catch the charge move right here. My Lodic has loaded energy. Surf, I think, might be enough damage to take out the um, Machamp. And we do see them farm down here. Are they going to Blizzard it? Oh, no. They're going to go for the Surf. I thought that was about to be a Blizzard. This Surf, I think, should do enough neutral damage to take out the Shadow Machamp. And then Empoleon is going to go down to the next Surf. And my Lodic sweeping this end game right here and that is going to be a good battle very well played really fun looking team right there um yeah that is awesome to see great battles able to go 5-0 right there so many booms you love to see it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what you guys thought about this team and these battles and like always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one